YouTube, ¿qué pasa? Welcome back to another Bleach Brave Souls video on my channel today. Now, I recently made a video on Brawl Quest and obviously all the new upcoming updates. And yeah, we have another crazy event, man, to farm. It's just literally, Caleb knows exactly what they're doing. Like They're dropping all these events at once, knowing exactly people are going to need soul tickets in order to grind these in events. Obviously, if you did a lot of um um uh, point event farming obviously you're gonna have a lot of soul tickets but some at some time these are gonna run out too like in my case and yeah that's uh that's basically the point where, you, where where you're gonna have to look if you're gonna spend orbs to farm uh certain materials or not but anyways uh the events that are up now obviously apart from brawl quest the one that has come on live today is times free inheritance uh, not times three, uh, times three enriched droplet zone. So if you go to co-op, and we can see here already enriched droplet zone times three. I mean, this is literally the best time to farm droplets. I mean, droplets are gonna be uh, materials you're gonna need throughout your end game, throughout your mid game, because carrying uh, characters from T10 to T15 or from T15 to T20 requires a lot of droplets. So making, for example, a character from zero to T20 will require you per character, I believe it was 4K of droplets. I think, I'm not sure, uh, I think 1K per per, uh, per slot. So it might be th three to 4K. So basically you're gonna need a lot of droplets in order to T20 a character. Actually, we can literally just check it out. So I just pulled out this character just for showing. Uh, let's just see how many droplets do we need actually to get him from 0 to T20. Right, so, okay. You're going to need 2,500 droplets to get a character one slot from 0 to T20. So that basically means you're going to need 7,500 uh, 7, droplets per character to make him T20. Having said that, with this event right now, you have the 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 possibility you have the option to do it because the dropless times free event doesn't come too often and when it does come i can only recommend really doing it so it's available until the 17th of october so that means eight days we have eight days farming this and we have another i believe nine days of farming brawl quest so yeah they they literally uh, put it all together by the way we also have times two potions so that's another thing um we are getting at the moment so basically you gotta make your priorities right what do you need more do you need brushes and you need crystals and jewels or do you want to farm droplets in my case i only need droplets because brushes i've got over 8k now left and i don't need ever any more crystals and stuff i have literally tons of i don't need them as well so the only thing really interesting for me is droplets and potions and potions i usually get through farming epic rates by the way this is the best way of farming um potions so yeah, Epic Grades is basically the best way of farming potions for me personally. So yeah, but droplets times three. Let me show you exactly how how my my droplets uh, are looking at at the moment. So basically, last time around, droplet times three came. Um, I farmed a lot of them. So I still have a few left. As you can see, I have fifty k technique, almost twenty k heart. Oh, almost 40k power, almost 50k speed, almost 50k mind. So yeah, I did spend quite a lot. I think last time around, when dropless times three came, I, I grinded up to like 100k each, so over 100k or something. I had a lot, obviously, and I t20'd a lot of characters in the meantime. So yeah, obviously they are not gonna stay forever. So goal is for me personally to go up to 100k again, or maybe even 200k. I might have to see how willing i am to grind that much but that is basically the state of things on my account at the moment and what kind of characters do you want to be using in order to um in order to grind for droplets so these are all my current droplet characters so for each attribute um you want to be using either one of them so um preferably i know most of the rooms are going to probably ask for something like 30 plus percent droplet like for example this kugo he has 30 percent droplet drop or this uh uh nergi is he called nergi yeah he has got 30 percent too um others might not bother so i would just recommend you literally um use the ones that you like and just join any room, most people will start taking you along the board, uh, alongside as long as you have any droplet bonus unit. I think, yeah, this this Isani has times plus 30% too. 
Um, these chats from St. Kaimon only have droplets um, 17%. So yeah, use any of these droplet units. If you have, like, for example, the new Uryu, he's got droplet built to in as well. If you have Toshiro Mind, he's a droplet character as well. So obviously there are a few options of characters you can use. Try use any of them. Me personally, what I did last time around and what I'm going to do this time around too, and I already farmed today a bit, um, I'm not using any droplet character at all because I usually open the rooms myself and I carry with, for example, TYBW Eisen or any character I really like carrying with. And I just ask people to bring droplets and also if they have some uh, some some bonus units, bring bonus units. So for me, it doesn't really matter. I don't really need a full room of droplets because that just makes my carrying life harder and I can't be bothered actually spending so much time concentrating on clearing the quest because if I'm using my eyes and he's auto clearing those quests very easy and I don't even have to look at it. I, I just have to set up um, the start button and that's it. That's it. The game is running, you know? So basically, if you have like a crazy good character, do it like that because there is no need to literally um, uh, to literally play uh, the quest itself apart from if you don't have any characters too. So you could either go full room of droplets or use one main runner uh, of your liking and then choose any droplet character uh, and then let any people uh, join in with a droplet character that you like. So literally, the, the Enriched Droplet Zone is very easy, actually. Like I said, if you have a unit that can actually run through it, like in this case, I'm running, like I said, with my TYBW Eisen. Um, initially, there were two Kugos and another Droplet unit, but one of the Kugos dropped off uh, due to signal failed. So yeah, but still, the, the quest is very easy. I'm just running with Eisen on auto. I literally, I'm not doing nothing. And this is how I did it the last time around. This is what I'm going to do this time around. I'm just going to let it run. And uh, people are always joining. And like I said, we are on our active Discord server. And there's always active people uh, wanting to join in um, uh, co-op events. So basically, enough people are going to play with me anyways. But if you haven't got the fortunate position that you can play with people at all times, then obviously I'd, I'd advise you generally join my Discord. There's always active people on there. People are willing to play co-op, carry newbies, no problem whatsoever. So you'll find the link down below in the description. And yeah, doing these quests is easy. And we're going to check out after we finish this quest quickly um, what the droplet drops are looking like without a full room of bonus units. So bear in mind the, the character that dropped off, the Kugo, we still get the bonus of him because he initially was in a room. And then we'll see what, what the bonuses are looking like. So you're looking at to, to get with a full room of full droplet drop characters, you're looking to get around um, 25 to a maximum of up to 57 um, droplets per run per ticket. So that's what I've been getting. Um, it could vary. Um, like I said, sometimes you might be only getting 20s. Sometimes you might be getting uh, 50. Depends. So uh, definitely, um, that's that's like one of the drops. Uh, th those are the different drops you can get. So let's quickly finish this room. Um, should be fairly easy. This Eisen is literally so busted. Like literally one or two hits and he's uh, killed off everything. So best ever farming unit in my opinion for me personally as a main runner. Perfect uh, auto unit to play quests with. So as you can see, I only did a times one run here just to show what we got. So in this times one run, we have 33 hard droplets, 21 speed, 20 technique, 40, no, 42 technique, 20 power and 51 mind, I think. Um, so we have a lot of droplets. As you can see, the range varies. So we have 20 to 51. And like I said, this was only with literally a, a, a room with with uh, two droplet well three droplet bonus characters now if you have a room full of droplet characters it's only going to make a difference of say like i don't know five to six extra droplet drops so you either go in through the headache yeah of uh, playing the quest over and over again with with a, with a full room of droplet characters and say for example you haven't worked on your droplet characters it's just going to be it's just going to be time cons consuming playing the quest or you just play with a favorite unit of yours that's already built up so you open up a room yourself, you say you carry, and I'd say if you're confident you can carry those rooms easily, then you, you have an easy time, you know, you don't have to actually bother playing the quest, you can literally just let it auto run, 
carry people through the through the rooms and then just open up another room and that's basically my method and it's the most time saving method you can choose and that's basically it now and if you continue doing this then you will also accumulate huge numbers of uh, droplets i mean you could literally get infinite droplets here if you if you're willing to wail on this on this event as much as you can um, if you're a newbie, for example, you could also even spend orbs on it because you're a newbie, you have a lot of orb sources left. So why not? Um, I mean, it's up to everyone's self. So definitely farm this event. Obviously, Brawl Quest, farm it crazy. Farm the hell out of Brawl Quest because if you need brushes and any other materials, obviously, you won't have to never um, worry about those. But to farm specifically droplets, times three droplet and rich droplet zone is literally the best event ever in the entire game so there's not going to be anything better to get your hands on droplets and huge amounts of droplets so yeah try your best and yeah let me know about down below in the comments what you think of this um how caleb is basically dropping multiple events at once um i'm personally not feeling it i would have wished they gave up once after one after another but obviously they're not going to do that they know people want to spend tickets uh, so in order to get tickets at times you might have to spend orbs and they know exactly what they're doing but yeah that's that's basically it for me um don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't did it already and yeah see you guys next time